Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rob and Gallagher Show. Now, today's episode probably won't be the most exciting, as I don't have a record to open, but I thought I'd, you know, take the time to talk to you for a bit. So, this week, for me, hasn't been very eventful, in a good way. Nothing good happened, and nothing bad happened. It's just sort of one of those weeks that just, you know, it's so boring, and every day just sort of dragged and dragged. And then because of my sleeping problems, I have pretty bad allergies when I sleep that can make it hard to sleep. I just, I wake up and I'm a fucking zombie, you know. Today, today I was a zombie. I did not want to get out of bed for the life of me. But I did, and I managed to do today, which is great. Um, Sleeping... If you have issues sleeping, whether it's insomnia or something causes insomnia or something worse again, I have nothing but respect for you because I know how horrible it is to toss and turn at night than to be unable to sleep. It's the worst. Now, I want to take the time to talk to you about mental health because mental health is important and you should definitely look after it. I've probably posted a video about this I can't remember whether I posted it because I filmed it I filmed a few videos on mental health but because it's hard for me to talk about I probably don't post them so I personally suffer with depression and anxiety issues and that's the chronic everyday thing it doesn't really go away and the anxiety can be my anxiety comes from it's a place of self doubt which is like are you sure that's right? Are you sure you've done this? Are you sure you've done that? That's wrong. You're doing it wrong. And, <clears throat> you know, it's just, and that gets to me, and especially the social anxiety. It's like, are you sure they want to talk to you? They don't want to talk to you. They don't like you. They're lying when they say they like you. And it's all up in here. It's not like all in your head. It's a real issue, but as for people not liking me it's almost always just my head you know that sort of fabricates these lies about people and for the you know depression depression is the worst because it can take an ordinary day and make it seem like the worst day of your life and depression depression is a leech in the way it can just take your emotions it can take your energy and wipe you clean all you want to do all day is lie in bed and cry you know depression can get really bad especially for me some days you know if it gets like really really bad some days i just lie in bed and listen to music you know there's nothing else i want to do it just completely collapses me and that's what people who don't have depression i mean everyone gets depressed once or twice in their life some people like me deal with it a lot you know, and the people who aren't depressed, you know, or maybe have never been depressed in such a way, you know, they don't understand that depression doesn't care what you have, you know. Depression doesn't care about a fancy phone or, you know, a nice big house. One of the common stigmas around depression and mental health is that you can't be depressed because there are children suffering in Africa. And what's happening in Africa is horrible but saying that someone here in the UK or wherever shouldn't be depressed because of it is wrong you know depression doesn't care a billionaire a billionaire with all the money in the world can still be depressed because depression doesn't give two shits what you have you know depression can sometimes for some people like me open a hole and you know, it's something you really want. For me, I know this might sound cheesy, but it's love. Real love is something I really want. And because I honestly don't have that anymore, my it just eats away at me. And I really don't like being single. Um, but that's part of life. And that's not the cause of my depression. Uh, I don't want to go into that. But being alone... A loneliness we can talk about loneliness loneliness sort of leeches onto depression they can come hand in hand and they can really 
really degrade someone really really degrade me as well you know and that's what people don't understand is sometimes especially in my case you know you just want to talk to someone and oh, I'm getting that chest off it just ate um you know sometimes you just want to talk to someone and if people aren't there then that could be the most you know the worst feeling in the world that you you can't reach out and for some people it can be hard to even reach out you know depression and anxiety can make you feel like no one cares and no one will understand so you will just sort of you know sit down and block yourself build a wall around yourself to stop people from opening up sorry about that as i was saying depression and anxiety can make you build a wall and just seclude yourself even if you don't want to you feel like no one cares and no one gets you and that can be the worst feeling in the world and i've definitely been there you know i'll admit that i have pushed people away because i felt that they don't care or nobody cares and you know i think that's as much as i want to talk about in my mental health i may be in the future i'll go into more depth but i'm not you know i'm already nervous i'm doing my ticks um but i want you to know that there is hope out there you know that you can reach out there are people and hotlines and family members and friends that care about you and if you're feeling this way please reach out and please get help you know because it does get better it won't get better tomorrow and it might not get better next week but eventually over time it will get better and you will have reasons to live and be happy and i believe that for everyone watching this video you know please don't i'm fortunate where i mean my mental health is bad but it's not you know it can get worse and some people i've talked so on facebook there are mental health support groups that can be a mixed bag because some of them get started by people who have no idea what they're doing but some are started by really good people who just want to help and these groups are amazing you know you, I, would de bleh, I would definitely recommend joining them if you haven't because they just people like you and me who deal with mental health problems come together and they help each other you've got a place you can talk about what's wrong and they will listen and that's how i met most of my friends i told Sorry you about that i was interrupted again uh yeah i told you about my friend chris they're the one i met in atlanta um you know they're one of my best friends and i've met a lot of my friends through uh, facebook and I, I you know quite frankly i don't care they are my friends now and i've met a lot of them and meeting people through facebook and through online social media doesn't matter anymore it's not like maybe five six maybe even ten years ago that was considered quite uh well that was considered you would be someone who maybe sat in their mum's basement you know a 40 year old virgin sort of scenario but that's not true that's never been true and it's not true now you know lots of people meet online and it's fine so don't let anyone tell you otherwise but i went on a tangent uh these groups are brilliant and you should definitely join them i they've honestly changed my life you know i mean i met <laughs> i met my ex-partner through that group as well and we met up and <coughs> had some wonderful times together but yeah i'll this is not a sponsored video. My uh, can of drink. <clears throat> Someone, I watch a YouTuber called Review Tech USA. Which, he's a really great YouTuber who does tech news and gaming news. And he said in one of his videos that you shouldn't talk about your problems. Or, you know, he said that you shouldn't make your problems the viewer's problems. 
in, I think he was responding to Boogie2988, another great YouTuber, and I sort of take issue with that. And if this YouTuber gig ever kicks off, which obviously I hope it does, I want to be honest with you, you know, I don't want to be this fake persona online. And obviously I'm going to be different in person, but I don't want to be this sort of fake person that no one can relate to. You know, I'm just a normal bloke who struggles to get through life. And as we go forward, you will see that mental health is a big, um, big thing for me. It's really important. And if I ever do charity live streams, I would do them for mental health charities. Now, I know I could do that now, and I, but I would kind of need a following, you know. But point being, I'm always going to talk about my problems on this channel. I'm going to do it in the Robin Gallagher show, or maybe I'll have a separate video, you know, if things are pretty bad. But I don't see a point in living this fake persona life and not interacting with fans in a way. I mean, my favourite YouTuber of all time is PewDiePie because he's real, you know. I know we don't know everything about him. Obviously, he's, you know, he's different in person, but he's just a real person on his videos. He doesn't put on some sort of fake persona anymore, you know. And that's probably what gets him in trouble when he said some stupid things because he doesn't, he's just himself. And everyone makes mistakes, you know. That's why I like him so much, because he's real. And he's got, obviously, he's the richest YouTuber. I know he doesn't like to admit it, but come on, he is. And he doesn't show it off, you know. He hasn't done a video showing off his Lamborghini, or his Rolex watch, or anything like that. I don't even think he doesn't have a Lamborghini. I don't know. Obviously, I don't know what car PewDiePie has. But I know it's not, like, some flashy supercar. Because he's not interested in showing off all this wealth. And that's one of the best things, you know, about him. You know how many other YouTubers will make a video where they're showing off their... What's the word people use? I forget. Uh, uh, I forget. Um, just showing off their wealth. I don't care, you know. If you're a good YouTuber, I'll watch you. If you make videos because you've got a new Rolex or you've got a Ferrari, I, I couldn't give a rat's airy ass. Um, I had a question, actually, sort of on the same topic. Someone asked me what music review channels I watch. And the biggest one, obviously, is Anthony, Anthony Fantano, or The Needle Drop. I watch, I think he's, I think he's one of the best music reviewers. I don't watch all of his videos because he does more modern music that I'm not really uh, too interested in but you know he's still one of the best you can't go wrong and I like the memes and the, the his melon and the sort of the clothes he wears in his videos sort of relate to how good the album is or something like that um, and I <coughs> pardon me I watch Mike the Music Snob, who does more rock music, does more my kind of music. But he's a bit, um, well, I think the whole point is of his channel is he's a bit hard, a bit tough. I know he really went in on the doors. In fact, his video on the doors, he made a video and he just trashed them. You know, he spent about 20 minutes talking about how bad the doors are. And that's why I started listening to The Doors. Because I said, surely a band can't be that bad, you know. And I, I've fallen in love with The Doors. I love their stuff. So, you know. And that's about it for music review channels. I watch uh, this lady called R Records with Remy, who's not very big. She's only got about 300 subs. But she gave me the idea for this channel. Oh, well, the channel name, anyway. I stole her channel name. No. Um, and Canadian Stud Muffin. I can't forget. Canadian Stud Muffin is the reason I started YouTube. Or start doing this sort of music review. Because, you know, I watched Anthony Fantano and Mike the Music Snob and these channels. And 
they're proper full-on in-depth reviews which is great but I can't do that content for you because I'm not that smart and it's hard for me to remember these things you know and portray them and all this nonsense so Canadian Stud Muffin his videos his music review videos are just real they're just he said if he likes a song he'll tell you he likes a song and he doesn't go too much in depth and I really resonated with that because I love my music uh, we got what's this? I love Please Please Me by the Beatles but it'd be hard for me to go into depth about what instruments they used and you know the time frames of the chorus lines and whatever I don't know but you know I'm <laughs> I'm a simple lad and I don't understand all these things so my reviews I've gotten criticism where I just say this is amazing that is amazing but that's me that's how I describe music and that's the sort of stuff you're gonna get on this channel now talking about the channel uh, you know it's going as expected I just I really enjoy sitting here and showing you my records and talking about music and some videos get more views than others some don't get any that's fine I've just started and I'm, obviously I want it all to kick off but if it doesn't then these videos will be you know it'll be a what's the word a uh, timestamp or you know I can come back to them in 10 years time and look at myself now and I'll probably laugh I hope that my life in tech no I'm going off on a tangent I need to stop so channel's going well I, you know I can't complain and next review next vinyl review is Pink Floyd's The Wall which actually I'm gonna film in a minute um, someone asked me when I'm gonna do the Beatles and the Beatles will come after Pink Floyd it will be so I've done Oasis I've done Pink Floyd well I'm doing Pink Floyd then the Beatles and then it's Linkin Park and then from Linkin Park it's Joy Division and then I go on from there and I'm going to do a tier list for Oasis since I've already done Oasis and then at the end of every band if I have all their albums I'm gonna rank their albums from worst to best uh, no band has an album that I would say is shit you know but well, I'm struggling to speak uh, but some albums are, aren't as good as the other albums in the band's catalogue and I feel I should do a video on that sort of topic um, other than that you know I think that's it for today's episode uh, thanks for watching me ramble and I'll see you on the b-side take care everyone Hey everyone, welcome back to the Robin Gallagher Show. This week hasn't been the best week in my life. It hasn't been very eventful, but... <coughs> Fuck.